This is Canoe Freestyle. And this is its queen. Claire O'Hara is a multiple world champion and one of Britain's most decorated paddlers. Um, I've won eight world championships titles. Um, I've won multiple European championships, World Cup series, a British championship title, I don't know how many times, maybe 10 or 11 times. Now I've always struggled a little bit with canoe freestyle. It kind of feels a bit counterintuitive to me to just sit there on a wave rather than use it to actually go somewhere. So I'm hoping some of the O'Hara magic will rub off on me. So Claire, I'll be honest with you, I haven't even had a lot of success in the past even just staying on a wave. So talk to me about how you're going to help me with that. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go into the inlet gate just here and you're going to have a go at doing some basic tricks to begin with, which is a 360 degree spin. And then after that, we're going to try and do some front flips, some front loops, which you can go absolutely massively airborne when you get the hang of it. But to begin with, just trying to control the boat as it falls over and do a front somersault is going to be quite entertaining. Sounds like I'm going to get wet. You're going to get soaked. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> So after a few quick tips from Claire, it was down to business, literally. Canoe freestyle is all about pulling tricks for points. Paddlers ride what's known as a stopper and fit as many tricks as they can into the allotted time. Points are awarded for technical difficulty, style and delivery. But for me, the ambition was to simply stay on the wave. As soon as I tried to sit up and perform even a simple turn, the wave got the better of me and I was in. Luckily, Claire had rigged up a line so I could pull myself back on. But even that was a challenge. Only one thing to do, go back up to the top and try again. Second attempt. At least I was facing in a different direction, which in my eyes was a huge achievement. I was starting to feel a bit more confident riding the wave, even if I did look like I was a rookie on a bucking bronco. Claire tried to encourage me by showing me a front flip, but all I was thinking was, no chance. I needed to do something though, so I thought I'd try facing the other way. Now, I don't know if that's an official move, but I'm calling it the Reeves Reverse Splat. Okay, third time lucky, and this time I really wanted to get some kind of trick under my belt. Claire seemed to think I'd got myself into a fairly good position on the wave, and to be honest, her enthusiasm and belief in me was beginning to make me feel guilty. I needed to do something half decent, so I went for the big one. Now, I certainly think I did better than last time I tried canoe freestyle, but my word, it was tough. So I think we'll let Claire play us out. 